Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will create a program to get Bitcoin's daily simple return. According to PocketSense, the daily simple return measures the dollar change in a asset's price as a percentage of the previous day's closing price. A positive return means the asset has grown in value while a negative return means the asset has lost value. Now before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about new videos on this channel, hit that bell notification. And the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice, as I'm no financial advisor, so invest at your own discretion. Now I'm currently on Google's website, it's called colab.research.google.com, and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in with your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So let's get started writing this code by clicking on file, then clicking on new notebook. And then a new tab open up for us and a new cell opens up for us. OK, so now in this cell, I'm going to put in some comments. I'm going to put in a description about the program. So I'm just going to type this program gets BTCs daily simple return and then I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left and in this cell I'm going to import the libraries okay so I am going to import pandas as pd I'm going to import numpy as np and I'm going to import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then I'm going to give my plot a style. So I'm just going to type plt.style.use and I'm going to use the 538 style. And then I'm going to run this by clicking this button here to the left. Okay, and this will let me know if I made any mistakes. All right, so no mistakes. So let's create a new cell. And I want to load the data. So from google.colab, I'm going to import files. I'm going to type files.upload to upload the file. So let's run this and click on choose files. And I'm going to upload this file here called btc underscore data dot csv. So let's create a new cell and let's store the data. So I'm going to create a variable called df and set it equal to pd.read underscore csv. And I'm going to put in the name of that file, which is btc underscore data dot csv. And then I'm going to show the data. So I'm going to type df here. And let's run this. OK, so now we get a look at the data set. And we can see we have a column called date, a column called high, a column called low, a column called open, a column called close, a column called volume and a column called adjusted close and the date range is from 1 1 2018 to 6 24 2021 and this data set contains 1268 rows of data with those seven columns that I mentioned above and then we have our indice values as integers so let's go ahead and change that to be the date instead so we're going to set the date as the index. So I'm just going to set df equal to df.set underscore index and then I'm going to input pd.datetime index and inside of that I'm going to put the date dot values and then I'm going to run this again and now we can see the indices have changed to be the date. So let's go ahead and create a new cell and I want to visually show and plot the close price. So just type plt dot figure and then give your figure a figure size. And I'm going to set my figure size equal to we'll do 14 by 7. All right. And then I'm going to give this figure a title. So I'm going to type plt dot title. And I will call this close price and I give it a font size equal to 18 and then I'm going to plot the data so I'm just going to type plt dot plot 
and then I'm going to plot the close price and then let's give the x-axis a label and the y-axis a label so we're going to start with the x-axis so just type bt.x label and we're going to call it date and I'll give this a font size equal to 18 as well and then let's give the y-axis a label so that's plt.y label and I'm just going to put close price here and I'll give it a font size equal to 18 and then let's show the data or show the plot so just type plt dot show and let's run this okay and there we go so now we can see this nice chart of Bitcoin's close price okay so we can easily see that Bitcoin had a sharp increase in price recently and we can also see it had a a sharp drop in price as well okay uh, not as much as the increase in price from basically 2018 to about uh, let's see here somewhere between January 1st 2021 and and it looks like I'm just gonna say mm, obviously June 2021 all right so it's definitely before that but that's the best I could do with just this information here all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell all right and now in this cell it's time to calculate and show the daily simple return all right or DSR so I'm gonna create a variable called DSR and set it equal to DF close dot PCT underscore change and then I want to show the daily simple return so I'm just going to type DSR here and let's run this okay and now we can see the daily simple returns all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell and now in this cell I want to get some statistics on the data or on the daily simple return so just type DSR dot describe and let's run this okay so here we go so it looks like the the biggest daily drop within this data set is about 37.16% and it looks like the biggest daily gain within this data set is about 18.74% and we can expect a daily return of about 0.1502% alright so pretty interesting let's go ahead and create a new cell and let's visually show and plot the daily simple returns so I'm going to put some comments here as well visually show and plot the daily simple returns okay all right so I am going to just go all the way back up here where we have our other plot and I'm going to highlight all of this and copy using control C then come back down here and paste it using control V okay and I'm going to change just a few things so I'm going to change the title to be daily simple returns and I'm going to change the Y label to be percentage and we can keep the X label as date and we need to change what we are plotting so let's change this here we're gonna put in the daily simple return dot index 
and then the daily simple return DSR okay and let's add a few more things let's add a label so I'm gonna put DSR here and let's change the line width so we're gonna set LW equal to 2 and let's give this an alpha equal to 0 0.7 all right, so I think that looks good. And let's just add in another thing here. Let's add in some X ticks. So type LT dot X ticks and set the rotation equal to 45 degrees. And let's run this. Okay, so there we go. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so here we have the daily simple returns chart. And now we can visually see that big drop of about 37.16 percent here and I'm assuming that the the biggest daily gain is here about 18.74 percent okay so that drop was huge it definitely stands out within this plot here okay so Let's create a new cell. And now what I want to do, I want to put the two charts together. All right, because I'm thinking that when we had this huge drop here, it may have been a good time to invest into Bitcoin. So let's just see what it looks like with both charts, if that was probably a good time to invest or not okay so let's first plot the close price so I'm gonna create a variable called top and set it equal to plt dot subplot to grid and we're going to input 4 by 4 and 0 by 0 and we're gonna give this a row span I'm gonna give this a row span equal to 3 and a call span equal to 4 and I'm going to type top dot plot and I'm going to plot that close price so I want df dot index and df df close okay and I'll go ahead and give this a label as well I'm going to set the label equal to close. I don't think I actually set a legend for the other label up here, but that's okay. Let's just continue for now. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a title. So plt.title. I'm going to put close price. And let's give this one a legend since I didn't give the last plot a legend. So just type plt.legend. And we're going to set the legend's location in the upper left all right so I think that looks good now let's let's plot the plot the daily simple return all right so I'm gonna create a variable called bottom and set it equal to plt dot sub plot to grid and we're gonna put in four by four here and three by zero here and we're going to give this a row span equal to one and a call span equal to four all right so i'm going to give this a title so just type plt.title i'm just going to call it dsr for daily simple return to keep it short and then let's do bottom dot plot DSR dot index and then DSR. So we're going to plot our daily simple return there. And then let's adjust this. So type plt dot subplots underscore adjust. Let's give this an H, an H space equal to 0 0.75. All right, so I think that looks good. And then I'm going to type plt dot gcf dot set underscore 
size underscore inches 15 by 8 and let's go ahead and run this let's see if I made any mistakes here all right so there we go that looks looks pretty decent um, so now let's take a look at this now we have both of these charts together we can see that big drop here on this chart and we can see that the close price had dropped as well so it might have been a good time to buy right here and if we had or if you had then you would have definitely about tripled your money even with Bitcoin being down right now as it is all right and of course if you had sold at the top you could have basically made about six times your money if you had sold here and bought of course when you saw that big drop here okay so I think that's pretty interesting and hopefully this video was educational for you all and you found it interesting and maybe entertaining and that's basically the end of the video if you want to start an investment portfolio of your own you can click on the link below and get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 on Webull when you deposit $100 or more on their platform and you can also get an additional $10 worth of Bitcoin using the BlockFi link below when you deposit $100 or more on their platform so this is basically free money and thanks again for watching and if you would like to get the code or the data set I will have that available on my Patreon page and I will leave a link for that as well in the description below. So thank you all. I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you all in the next video.